Hey guys, welcome to our channel where we give quick tips as parents of three to help with everyday life. I'm Joel and this video is all about this Nuna Pippa car seat and how to take it apart in order to clean it. You might find that there are some yucky messes that get in this car seat as we have found that with all three of our kiddos, there seems to be this like magnet to anything and everything finds its way into this car seat. This is gonna be a bonus video on how to be able to take this apart and show you a couple of things to remember whenever you're putting it back together. And I also made a separate video on how to actually put this back together. Um, as some of you might have gotten the part where it's easier to take off but you got stuck on putting it back together. Totally understand, I did the same thing. Um, so I just wanted to be able to share with you this quick bonus video on the new to Pippa car seat to be able to take the cushions off and so you can be able to clean it. Um, we did make a video on this new to Pippa on what we like about it, um, the quality of this new to Pippa and how we use it. So take a look at that video. So before we get started, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let us know you liked it. Click subscribe if you want to see more from the Family of Five Quick Tips. Uh, you can also hit that bell to be notified of our videos that we release on Tuesday mornings. Um, so just catch up with us there. All right, back into this car seat. So the first thing I like to do is be able to move this bar to get it out of your way. Um, in order to do that, there is this, this push button on either side. You have to push them at the same time and then the whole bar rotates. You can rotate it down even one step further. And with the bar all the way back, this is how I like to take my kiddos out of the car seat also because it keeps the foundation sturdy and it's easy for me to pull them out instead of it being rocking all the time. Uh, so that's a quick tip for you. Um, next, you'll wanna take off this canopy. Very simple. It's got a quick release button here on the side which takes the bar off, as well as one on the other side. And then it has two Velcro pieces on the back. Now, if you want to wash this canopy separately, you'll note that this bar can come out. And whenever you're taking it off, you want to note that it does have an elastic strap, so you can pull it, slide it, uh, the bar back down a little bit, and then it's easier to remove. But whenever you put it back on, you want to make sure that elastic strap goes back over the bar, just for an extra support and just keep this canopy tight. Slide out this plastic insert, and now your canopy's good. Um, you can also unzip it to pull out this extender canopy, which has the magnets, and so you can be able to wash this whole thing um, with it all open. But we can put that to the side for right now. All right, now we're left with the, ma the main cushion. You can uh, remove these shoulder straps, Unbuckle it, and then I remove this uh, pad as well. Now you've got these shoulder straps, you've got the buckle here, and then you've got this plate here um, that is the release plate, the release button, and the type. The cushion is actually holding around, atta attached um, around this plate. You can start there if you'd like. So on the bottom, it's only elastic. There are no clips, no plates, nothing to keep this on the bottom of the car seat base. And so I just pull that off and then you'll have to pull off a corner around that plate and work it around because the hole just slips and can fit right underneath that plate. Uh, and that's the way that it stays on the car seat. And so then you can work your way around. Um, on the side here, right next to the level bar, then you'll actually find that there is a hook plate, a little plastic hook cleat. And then there is a slit that just goes right over the top of this quick release button whenever you have it in the stroller, which we do have a, a City Select Baby Jogger double stroller, which has two adapters that this car seat actually, the Nuna Pippa car seat actually fits on. Um, and so we love that stroller, we love this Nuna Pippa car seat, um, and this is the quick release that takes it off that stroller. So if you wanna take a look at that video, go ahead. Um, but then it also has a little plastic plate here that slides right behind the frame to keep it attached. So you wanna slide it off. And then work your way around. There are three of those plastic plates here on the back. And then again on this other side. And then you're around to the other release button slide it over that release button and a little C-clamp. 
Here's a quick tip. Whenever you get down to this belt buckle, you'll want to note that there are two slots that you can push it back through whenever you put the car seat back on. So whichever one fits your baby the best, you have a couple different options. Now you're left with the shoulder straps holding you in, holding this, holding this cushion in. So you, for that, you'll want to flip it over. And here's another quick tip for you. You want to note that this strap here on the bottom and the two shoulder straps here on top are underneath this, these two bars. These two bars are actually the bars that go into the base station in the car. Uh, so you need to make sure that they are exposed and able to clip in the base station and are free of the straps. The straps will fit very close to the body of the car seat. Um, and if you now note the diagram here that this is the correct way and this is the incorrect way to uh, assemble the straps. But for now, you'll take the shoulder strap buckle and it has an opening here, if you can see that. You pinch the strap down, pull out one side, and then it comes off. And so this is just a simple loop and it slots right over or right in that hook. And so now this belt buckle will stay. And so that's the easy way to release that. So now you have those released. Flip it back over. And another quick tip you want to remember where you're pulling the shoulder straps out of because there are three different levels. Um, whichever level fits your child the best. Our child is growing and he's at that third level. We're almost ready for a bigger car seat. Um, so he's at the top level. Uh, so that's, that's where we have ours. But now the last thing is removing it from the base or the seat part of this cushion. And for that, you'll have to turn these buckles sideways in order for it to fit through that slot. It's not the easiest thing to do, but you can kind of finagle it and move, maneuver it. These clips, you'll have to turn those sideways. But once you figure it out, once you get the touch, then it's easier for them to come out. And then they can just pull out easily. Just remember to turn it. To the side and then you're done car seat cushion is removed um, now I will note that I use the uh, water hose on this with a little bit of soap clean it up and let it dry in the Sun um, and it cleans up really nice really well I get these see these are a little dirty I get to be able to clean these clips clean the belt um, shoulder straps and this guy has lasted for about five and a half, six years now, and has been working really well for us. So that's it. Take all these parts, throw them in the laundry, throw them in the washing machine, and you're good to go. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from the Family of Five Quick Tips, click subscribe. And remember, be happy, have fun, and enjoy the season of life you're in. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.